observed, and I quote, that conservatory orders, consequently, should be granted on the inherent merits of a case, bearing in mind the public interest, caution of values, and the proportionate magnitudes and priority levels attributable to the relevant causes. I want to address myself the inherent merit of this case and just on one aspect of public interest. In fact, let me just begin by putting aside the issue of public interest by asserting as a principle, my lords, that I, want, I desire that you hold that the greatest public interest is upholding our constitution. There can be no superior public interest attributable to politics or other considerations that would outweigh upholding our constitution. In fact, that is my understanding of Articles 2 and Article 3 of the Constitution. Articles 2 and 3 of our Constitution provide that the greatest public interest is in upholding our Constitution. I can see my learned colleagues jittery. I don't know whether they want to raise an objection. I, I... Okay, thank you. Not me. I would never raise an objection regarding you. Thank you so much, uh, my teacher and mentor, Professor Gedumwe Guy. Uh, and I'm sure our other colleagues have taken cue from you, Prof. <laughs> <laughs> so that, my lords, when a petitioner raises a matter like the clearest violation I have raised on what transpired on 18th, there can be no greater public interest than giving that matter a chance to be ventilated fully. There can be, there, I can't imagine of any. But having said that, let me now deal with the, how this petition meets the inherent, inherent merits test. Just a 